Hi there you guys! Today I'm going to show you in super easy steps how to make these in and yang seed beads earrings. I was told in my childhood that I'm not a creative person at all and I can't do beading because my hands tremble. And if I can do what I'm showing you here, that means that everybody could. So just follow along with me. Please subscribe with the bell if you still haven't. Also like, share and comment. You might want to support me in PayPal by becoming a member. It comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Thank you so much for watching. Now let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, and what I'm using here for these earrings are three colors of 11 old Delica beads, also earring findings, liver bags, here I use nylon nylon thread that is 0.3 millimeters of thickness or size D. You could use fire line as well or whatever thread you prefer. This is size 11 beading needle. These are scissors and these are flat nose pliers. And I'm going to take about half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm starting my work by picking up two silver beads. Sliding those down. Here I will stick my needle in my mat and what I want to do is to make a knot and I make my knot by make here a loop, go twice through the loop I've made and pull, okay. Now I go through one of my beads again. And I will make additional reinforcement. And you see guys, my beads stay next to each other with their sides touching and their holes pointing in one direction, as you may see. So this is what I want to have. Then I take another silver bead. And I go back in circle through this silver and I pull and then I go like this. Take another silver and go like this. one more time and you see here I want to reinforce. Okay and this is the last fifth bead that I'm adding. Okay. Okay my friends and now I take a silver and a black and you see these thread bridges that I have between my beads. I go under this first one. And then I go through the bead which is closer to the center of my work, which in this case is the black one. And I pull. Then I will go through the silver bead that I have here. And I'm adding one more silver bead. Okay. And go back through it. And after I add it, I want to come back in this direction. And exit out of the black. Then I'm going to add three more black beads one by one. I take one. Again, you see these thread bridges that I have. I go under the next one on my way. And then through the bead that I'm adding. One black. 
go under this thread bridge and backwards another black go under this one and backwards then I need a silver bead and here guys I'm out of thread bridges that is why in order to add it I'm going to use the same last thread bridge that I have here so I add it like this and go back through it now because my work is symmetrical I will take one silver and I will add it here like this and I want to go one more time just to reinforce and just to be sure that it's all tight and secure now I want a silver and a black and I'm going here under this thread bridge and I go through the black one okay then I want to make a reinforcement go through these two silvers in this direction and through the silver and the black here now I'm going to add six more black beads so it will be seven black beads in total in this row and I do this absolutely the same way as you may see I go under the next thread bridge maybe now it is not visible because the beads are black and the thread is black but it's there just go through it go through the next thread bridge that's on your way okay here between the two beads okay and now here at this last thread bridge I'm adding a black bead and I will add one silver as well at the same thread bridge now I take a silver and a black and I'm going under the first thread bridge here because I increase I want to have more beads in my next row than in my previous row that is why I'm going under the first thread bridge and I will show you what I do when I decrease okay so it is the same thing I'm going under the thread bridge and through the bead which is closer to the center and in fact this row will consist of silver eight blacks and a silver added the same way so I have one black seven more blacks and one silver If you don't see exactly the thread bridges don't worry just take one bead and find it between the two beads and go through it even if it's not visible on the camera it's there And 
here I do the same thing. I use the last thread bridge twice to add the silver bead. The black bead before that and the silver bead. I take silver and black and I, I'm still expanding, I'm increasing my next row consists of more beads that why I that's why I go under the first thread bridge and through the bead which is closer to the center. Now I need three silver beads added one by one. Okay, now I need a white bead. Two blacks and one silver. Again, the silver is added at the same thread bridge where I added the, the black. Now, guys, I take silver and black and I will show you how I decrease. When I decrease, I go through the second thread bridge, which is between the second and the third black beads that I have here on my way. And I go here under the second thread bridge. Then I go through the bead which is closer to the center, but you see how my beads stay. I want to fix this, that is why I'm going through this one and through this one, just to make a new thread pad and to make them stay nice and tight next to each other, because they stretch as they go under the second thread bridge, guys. Then I need two white beads. A black one. A silver. Two white beads and a silver. Black and silver. And again, the silver goes at the last thread bridge. And here one more silver. And I need two silver beads and now I will be increasing that is why I'm going under the first thread bridge. Then white, black, white.
silver. Black, white, black. And two silvers. The last one at the same thread bridge as the previous one. Okay, my friends, and because this is my central row here, I will attach my earring finding. I take a silver, an earring finding, and a silver. And I go back in circle through this bead. Okay. Maybe I will do here additional reinforcement. After that, I take two silver beads and I go through the second thread bridge counting from here between the second silver and the black one. Then through the one which is closer to the center of my work. And then I want to reinforce. Two black beads, one silver. White, two blacks, white. one silver silver and white go under the first thread bridge here and through the white then white black white One more white. And then three silvers. And then I need a white. And a silver again. Now I take a silver and a white and I go under the second thread bridge. And what happens when I go under the second thread bridge? I go through the white and then reinforce. Okay. And this row, guys, will consist of silver, eight whites and silver. So I need to add seven more whites and one silver.
Okay, guys, and here I need a silver and a white. I'm going under the second thread bridge through the white and reinforcing. And I'm going to add six more white beads and a silver off camera and I'll be back. Okay, and I'm finishing this row with the last silver and you should have silver, seven whites and a silver. Then I take two silvers, I go under the second thread bridge. I go through the one which is closer to the center. And reinforce. Now I add four whites and two silvers. Okay, my friends, and now I'm going through this silver bead and through the white. I take two silvers and I go here through this thread bridge between the silver and the white, and I go through the silver. And then what I want to do is to reinforce. Now I will add three more silver beads. And with this one I'm adding here, my earring is ready. I just need to go through some beads. Zigzag. Then I will make here a loop between my beads. I will go twice through the loop I've made. I will go twice through the loop I've made. I'm going to pull. Pull my thread so it won't be visible and I will cut this tail thread. If it sticks out, just burn it with a zipper and you could do the same th thing here. Just cut this tail thread and my earring is ready. Okay guys, and now my in and yang Seed beads earrings are ready, so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe. Also hit the bell button, like, share and comment. And if you want, support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. And the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Thank you so much for staying here with me until the end. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.